guys, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite cartoons ever. Avatar, Rick and Morty, and... Hello, homo sapiens on the internet. My name is Gabriella, and today I'm going to explain to you all why Flea That Monkey Face is the greatest series ever made using my amateur critiquing skills. Um, oh, well, well, you know, first, uh, we need to talk about the book, you guys. Uh, yeah, I, I have every book. Um, yeah, you know, because Flea That Monkey Face is based on the book. I bet you guys didn't know that because you're all idiots. And, um, the, the books are the greatest books ever made. I mean, I like this book better than the Chronicles of Narnia. Uh, and, um, well, you see, um, I cried at every single page of the book, um, cause, uh, well, uh, the, um, the, uh, well, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the pictures, they were so moving, and every single word they used was beautiful, the plot was amazing, and, um, yeah, and the drawings were absolutely stunning, uh, I definitely recommend it 10-10, would read again. Because the book was so critically acclaimed, um, the geniuses at, oh, I forgot their, uh, the name of the company that made this masterpiece. Let me go check. Okay, I looked at the name of the company. They're called Sparky Animation, known for producing classics such as Dinosaur Train and Rough Rough Tweet and Dave. So, the show involves three characters and they like to go on great adventures together. Gene is awesome. Jailed is cool, and Fleabag Monkey Face is the best character ever conceived by mankind. There's tons of character development with these characters. I especially like the story arc in season 5 about how um, Jailed was coming to terms about how he's actually a bird and not a human. Um, cause that was a great arc, right you guys? Um, you can watch all the episodes on Netflix, if you have Netflix. Which you probably don't. Ha ha. And the villain. Uh, I forgot his name. Let me go check again. Durr. Okay, I checked. His name is Dr. Dirk Spamflex. He is uh, mad because his TV show got canceled. Wow, you guys, that's a really dark and depressing motive to become a villain. I think that Dr. Dirk Spamflex is the best villain in fiction of all time. Forget, um... Forget every other villain that ever existed. Forget the Joker. Forget Scar. Forget all those crappy villains. Dr. Dr. Dick Spam was the absolute best. And he has the best character design of anyone on the entire show. And the best character design in CD animation as the whole. Seriously, look at the characters in Ready Jet Go, which is, by the way, the worst show ever made. Look at them. They look like Mila Genitalia. However, Dr. Dick Spam is not in any way, shape, or form resemble male genitalia. Right, you guys? Um, and the plots in the show are absolutely amazing, to say the least. I mean, a giant ear monster that bumps out his ears, brilliant. And the comedy, the comedy is the best part of the show. There is absolutely no toilet humor at all in this show. It only has the highest form of comedy possible. And, unfortunately, the show got a rip-off in the form of the Captain Underpants franchise. Ugh, Captain Underpants is the least funniest book ever made. I mean, look at the characters in the back. They rip off of Gene and Gerald. And, oh, yeah, the show rip off of Monkey Face, which is really unfortunate. And, and for some reason, it even got its own movie in the form of Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Captain Underpants, the first epic movie? No, more like Captain Underpants, the last epic failure. This movie is the worst movie ever, along with Back to Bortron 7. So, that's my reasoning for why you should watch Flea Eye Monkey Face, which is the best show ever made. I give it a 10-10. I would watch it every day for the rest of my life. And you should all too. Bye, you guys, and see you on my salute for Breadwinners, and yeah. This is the real guy real. Um, all the stuff you, you saw in the video is not true. Good day to all.